Hi guys, it's your boy Zinio and today I have the 9th generation iPad and we're going to run a series of gaming tests on it to see whether it's great for gaming or not. We're going to go from least intensive to most intensive with games like Mobile Legends, PUBG, Call of Duty and Genshin Impact. And I'm pretty sure we did a review on the iPad 8 last year. It worked pretty well, right Zaki? Yep, it did. So we're going to see whether this entry level iPad 9 works well for gaming as well. Let's find out. So let's quickly go in and see what settings we have. Okay, I get it. Okay, fine. All right, so everything's on high, HD mode, HFR mode, graphics are on ultra. It's being blocked by the download screen on here, but it says ultra right here. So we have everything set for a live test. So let's get into a casual game, a classic game. So the main thing when it comes to game tests and everything, obviously we're looking for frame drops, we're looking for anything funky. And so far, you know, everything looks pretty smooth. You and I both know that ML doesn't really take much to perform on a mobile phone, much less an iPad. So I think this should be good. Oh, okay. Animations are really smooth. The text come really clean. There we go. There we go. Alright, and we won the game. Alright, so Mobile Legends, sound is amazing on the iPad 9. No lag, no frame drops, nothing. Animations are smooth, attacks are clean. You can expect a lot from this. Mobile Legends is a definite yes on the iPad 9. Right, so we have Call of Duty Mobile at the main page and Ghost looks amazing. His gun details, the particle effects, oh, everything looks great. So let's go straight to the settings. And let's go to graphics. So we already set at the highest graphical quality. However, you know, you can't run the very high graphics quality option together with the highest frame rate option, which is max at the same time. So we'll just keep graphics quality at high because that's what we're here for. And let's check out the other stuff. So we're gonna run a multiplayer game and we're gonna set everything on. Anti-aliasing, depth of field, real-time shadows, boom, ragdoll, the whole shebang. So let's get into a game real quick. My M4 looks amazing in this thing. Now let's see how it plays. Alright, touch is hella responsive. No lag, no frame drops or anything. It's great. One. Two. Right. So, final thoughts on Call of Duty Mobile. There's no, there are no frame drops, particle effects look great, my models look amazing. So yes, Call of Duty Mobile is a definite yes on the iPad 9. Right, so we have PUBG set up, let's go straight into the graphics settings. Let's go to graphics, and we're already on smooth and extreme. Movie is great, anti-aliasing is at 4, and we are good to go. Let's get into a game. But yeah, like after like playing like two games on the iPad 9, you know, everything the whole system feels very smooth and ooh, yeah, this is smooth. Yeah, so with the enhanced frame rate on extreme, you know, <laughs> there are no frame rate drops, no lag, nothing on this as well. I think without playing a game, we can definitely say that, you know, it's a yes. This iPad 9 can definitely take the strain of any game you throw at it, so I'm not too worried about Genshin Impact right now. Hopefully not. But yeah, so the map looks great so far. Let's try to jump off. I mean, it's it's PUBG Cloud, you know, you're not gonna expect much, but you know, so far, you know, it feels very smooth. Okay, let's get some weapons real quick. Let's see who else we have. Oh, this is pretty smooth as well. It's like three, four, two teams maybe. Nice. Okay, let's get in. I have nothing but a pen. Yeah, we can work with this. Alright, let's just go. Oh. <laughs> and we got a pan kill. Yeah, come on, come on, give me your stuff. Sounds amazing, of course. Your responsiveness on the screen is great. Oh, okay, I see them now. Okay, I'm gonna move around the building here. I do not want to run into them real quick. Oh, I'm down. Damn it. So just to wrap up, PUBG, you know, it's smooth. It's a yes. 
for the iPad 9. Genshin Impact among the four games that we're playing demands the most from the processor and the iPad itself. So we'll see how it shapes up. Okay, so we're Shangling here. Let's go to the graphics settings real quick. So we'll see what we can do. Let's get, let's try the highest then. All right, I mean, we're overclocking the iPad 9 a bit, but you know, let's see what we can get out of it. Oh, okay, that looks, that looks great. It's still smooth, you know, a bit laggy here and there, but that's because, you know, we're playing at the highest settings. Alright, I mean, combat on ultra high isn't the best, but it sure does look good, I guess. That is great. But yeah, so ultra high, not the best. So let's try and high for the next encounter. Let's just switch up to high real quick. I'm going to get ramped. Yep, I'm, I got rammed. All right, let's go to high on default. Ultra high did not look good at all. It's a bit choppy, it's a bit laggy. A couple of frame drops here and there, you know, it, it just didn't look good at all. So we're back at the encounter again. Let's get out of the way. Yeah, this feels a lot smoother. Yeah, there you have it, Genshin and Back on High. Obviously, you know, it looks okay. If we go closer up, you know, the character models look amazing. Let's check it out on Ultra High real quick. Honestly, I'd say it's pretty much the same as playing on High. It looks good so far, actually. Yeah, I'm actually gonna take it back. I wouldn't want to like kill my battery that quick, so like, I'd rather just play on high instead. No, it's just the fact that on the high settings, my iPad 9 is being overclocked and you know, if, if I want a game on the go and I want the game to look all pretty and stuff, at the cost of my battery life, I wouldn't want to do that because I want the game for longer, so I will keep it at high. You know, it's a lot smoother, you get a, get a little bump in frame rate. So yeah, it's a preferential thing, you know, it looks good either way, on high or highest. So. Genshin Impact is definitely a game you can play on the iPad 9. So final verdict for gaming on the iPad 9. We played like four games. It all turned out gorgeous. You don't need to think twice about gaming on the iPad 9 at all. Except for Genshin Impact, it's a preferential thing because you know, whether you want to overclock your iPad or not, that's up to you. But either way, the game looks gorgeous no matter what. Right, that wraps up the video. Leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't. It helps us out a lot. This is your boy Zinio and I'll see you guys in the next video.